Hey you guys, this is Raphael from ShilohRelics.com. I hope you're all well today. I'm doing great and I'm glad to be with you again. Today we're gonna to talk about a interesting sword and I'm gonna do something that is as close to magic as you will ever see me do. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Here we have a Civil War foot officer sword, meaning that it's the lower ranking men, uh, like a lieutenant, that type of grade. So, there's my magic trick. See the scabbard? I made half of it disappear. And it's because this is known as a telescopic, telescopic, I made a new word today too, a telescopic scabbard. Say that four times quickly. And it goes back out. These were designed to help a officer that was in combat. It was designed so that when he drew his sword out to fight, he didn't have that scabbard clanking around behind him. It was approved actually by some of the people in New York for military service, but it didn't catch on. There was one of the most famous New York soldiers that's reported to have had one of these swords on him when he was killed. It's said that Elmer Ellsworth was wearing one of these when he was uh, shot at the uh, Alexandria, Virginia, when he tried and took down the Confederate flag. Uh, so some of them did get into service. I've actually had a couple over the years that had a name to a Civil War soldier. Uh, the sword itself is basically a standard French-made foot officer sword. They have the brass handguard with the floral design in it. They have a polished horn for the handle, which is very pretty. They used a real quality horn and just buffed it to, to a beautiful color. They use those. Um, the blade is 30 and a half inches. The scabbard collapses down to a little over 16. So they had it designed very well. On the back of the scabbard, you can actually see the maker's mark. And this one was made in France. It has the maker's mark of J and C-I-E, C, which is the French way to say company. So it was made by J and Company in Paris. Uh, and they put their name on it because they were proud of it because it's a great and beautiful design on a piece. These swords were made, most of them, with unetched blades, meaning it's just a plain polished blade. Up on the spine of the blade, it actually has that, it's the French model 1855 sword. The neat thing about these French swords is that they actually give you the month and the year that they were made. This one was made in February of 1859, which falls perfectly to being ready to come over right before the Civil War, which would explain why folks like Ellsworth had one. This one is pretty. The scabbard has kind of a dark attic color over it. The blade has been protected all those years and it just beams. It's a really pretty blade. The only thing that's missing on this sword, on top of that polished horn handle, it would have had a double twist of, uh, of brass wire. And that comes out very easily and is lost sometimes, and that's missing on this one, but everything else is pretty. And there are guys out there that restore those. There's a couple of guys that are basically artists and can put those back on for you. Um, this one I just left alone because I like that it wasn't messed with at all. They're neat swords. They're definitely Civil War era because I've had a couple that had soldiers named on them. You don't see them very often. I bet I've had less than 10 in the 30 years that I've been doing this. This one's pretty and it's one that would retail for about $2,000 these days. That's a lot of coolness for $2,000 in the sword collecting market. If you go on to ShilohRelics.com, I've got lots of pictures of it as well as other officer swords, enlisted men's swords. Uh, a little bit of everything, so check it out. I appreciate you taking time to be here because all of these pieces have history and I'm so thankful that I get to share this history with you. I wanna send a shout out to all of my family. I love you all. I wanna send a shout out to all of the people that watch these videos and share these videos and have went on to YouTube and subscribed. I'm so thankful for each one of you. 
I hope y'all have a great day. Remember that you're loved. Remember to be kind, and I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.